Hope you're excited. This is Friday, uh, getting ready for the weekend. In this video, I want to talk about two things. One, work-life balance. How do IT professionals, or how should we, balance out our work-life balance and make sure that we are at the, our optimal level and our best? And then second, what's in the news? How's things going in the IT security industry? So let's hack at it. So right now I'm stuck in traffic. Uh, it's about 8.48 in the morning. And one of the conversations I wanted to, to talk about just quickly is work-life balance. One of the things I, I as I'm talking, as I, I'm talking to different people, as well as kind of doing my own thing, I realize you have to stay in tune personally, professionally, spiritually, emotionally, physically. And us IT people do a lot of sitting. We don't do a lot of movement a lot of times because you're at a desk, you're in front of a computer, you're configuring something, you're, you're learning something, maybe you're in meetings. And as you're doing that, you're doing a lot of sitting and then you run out and you grab food on the go, right? Because you're going to the next meeting, you're, you're doing, you have a project you have to get done. So timelines, 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 right? And what I'm here to say is that I've had to reevaluate that and say, look, you know what, for myself, I know I need to be mentally clear, mentally focused. I need to be able to deal with a lot of stress. So that means eating the right foods, exercising, right? making sure I have the right foundation so I can deal with a lot. And I think, or from what I'm hearing, when it comes to different people in the IT security, IT field, there's a balance right, of people that are doing this, have the right foundation, and the ones that are tired and fatigued. And the ones I hear that are tired and fatigued are like, I'm, I'm exhausted, I'm burnt out, you know, I just need, I'm looking for a vacation. And for me, I was like, wow, you know, I don't want to be in that situation. I don't want to work that hard because I don't want to be in a position where I don't like what I do, right, because I'm just exhausted. And I don't get to have that work-life balance, that family time, and do the things I, I love to do, right, and enjoy. And I'm here to say, I think we can have both. I think we can do work really hard you know, do the best we can do, learn, evolve, you know, be successful, but also have a work-life balance that we get to go have some fun, we get to enjoy. And I'm going to work on doing that. And on my Fridays, I'm going to share the things that I'm doing to be able to do that. So right now, I'm going out grocery shopping. I, I, it's my Friday morning, I take my Fridays off, and I go out shopping. I go shop at organic food, grab lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, uh, some meat, uh, and when I talk about meat, I'm not a vegetarian. I'm a flexitarian, so I eat what I feel. Uh, but when it comes to meat, meat, I eat it kind of on a balance, right? When I feel it. And the reason that, that is for me is I find if I eat a lot of meat, I'm lethargic. I'm a little tired. I find my stress levels increase that I'm sitting there kind of dealing with something and I can feel like, oh, I, this is so stressful. Where if I eat lighter, you know, healthier foods, I find that I'm more relaxed and I'm like, ah, you know, I'll, I'll figure this out and I'll, I'll work towards it. Versus I know when I eat a lot of meat, I'm either one, three o'clock crashes, right, those come up, or on the other side of the fence, I was like, I can feel like I get anxious. I'm like, oh, my, why is this not coming through? Why is this not going? And I can feel the stress and I'm, I'm not as patient and compassionate with myself and the people around me. So take care of yourself, really do. Uh, mini vacations, something that I like to do is, you know, once a month, go on a mini vacation. If, even if that means, you know, local, you know, you do fun things on Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Do things for you to balance it out, to, you know, have that kind of play hard, you know, work hard, play hard kind of mentality. Because if you don't, you're going to burn yourself out. And that's what I'm hearing. I've, I've, gone through that myself, you know, in previous situations where I could tell I'm just getting tired and fatigued and then I just, I don't want to do it anymore. So these are things that, you know, I recommend that we start to look at as IT professionals because we really have to push with IT security getting to be a harder career because you have to perform at your work, study, keep evolving, you know, play with technology inside of work, outside of work. 
you know, go to co uh, conferences, seminars, workshops, always be on and deal with stressful situations when things are not going right. We always have to be at that high level. So, so we have to build up that foundation and make sure we're at the high level so we can do this work. So comment below. I'd like to hear what you do for fun, how you balance yourself out, how you, you know, recharge and keep that tank full so you're able to do the great things within IT security or IT. So that's the end of this section. Let's get, let's get over to the news and see what's, in, what's happening in the IT security world. Okay, so let's get into the news. First article I want to, want to mention today is from uh, Dark Reading. And the article is about a uh, report, bank email fraud increases since Equifax breach. Uh, cyber thieves are impersonating banks to send bogus service bank emails messages. Uh, a spat of bogus secure message emails from financial industries are making the rounds uh, following the high profile Equifax breach according to a report released today by uh, Barracuda. Over the past month, variants of secure messages, uh, emails attacks have included malicious words, documented attach attachments that rewrite directory files and users. Computers once open, according to Barracuda Threat Spotlight report. In some of these cases, de uh, depending on the script, the malware will remain dormant to avoid any virus detection when downloaded or open, but will spring in actions later, potentially as ransomware. Techniques used in this fraudulent secure message emails include impersonation of financial institution, spoofing email domains, and phishing attacks to get users to open the attachments or click on the link uh, the, from the, the notes. So click on the links from the actual email. So what my recommendation is for yourself, if you're getting this, if you're getting any type of email from an inst institution, like alerting you that there's something important, something you need to do right away, go to the back of your debit card, your Visa card, your bank card, whatever that may be, call the 100 number and verify the email. Say, look, I've got this email. Is this really from you? And then they'll tell you, yes, it is. Or no, it isn't. But do not open up the email. Even if you see it in the inbox, do not open it. Leave it there. Call them. Ask them. And then if it's not, click on it. Report it as phishing or junk or and, and delete it. Delete it right away. Don't open it up. And then go in your trash and delete it so you don't open it. Make sure you don't get caught with a phishing uh, scam again. These people take advantage, like the CRA, the IRS. You know, scams are happening when you know tax season. People are going, "Oh my God, you need to call us right away." And people got nervous, and they did. You know, and they follow these emails. So just be very mindful of that. Uh, next article, dark, and this one's kind of fun for Friday, but I wanted to share this one. Uh, dark web drug dealer arrested after he travels U.S. for world beard competition or sorry championship uh, so let me read that again dark web drug dealer arrested after he traveled to the u.s for world beard championship so united states authorities arrested subject dark web drug kinpin last night uh late last month while he was traveling from his base in france to the united states of america for the year's annual world beard and mustache championship. Gal Valeris, a 30-year-old French na national, was traveling to Austin, Texas for the competition, but was caught by U.S. authorities in, on August 31st upon landing at Atlanta International Airport on a distribution complaint filing in Miami Federal Court. The Miami, Miami Hurdle Report Tuesday. So that was the... the reporter. Authorities have confirmed Valorous ident identity to the online marketeer Oxy Monster, which was previously used to sell drugs on an illegal underground dark web marketplace called Dream Market. By searching his laptop that that the brown bearded contest car carried with him. So this is just kind of one of those things that you kind of laugh because the guy's on the dark web, he's selling drugs, you know, he's kind of doing his thing. But then he travels to the United States and gets caught. It's just kind of one of those things you're kind of like, oh, like it's 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 too funny. It's almost like you know those Darwin Awards. It's kind of like that. It's like these criminals get caught doing stupid things. Like he's going to 
a beard and mustache championship. So for me, it's just like, it was a, something to laugh about IT security guys. You know, you kind of laugh at like the, the funny way these guys get caught. And it's, you know, it wasn't like there was a FBI shakedown. They were trying to get in. They broke into his, you know, they, you know, not surveillance. They surveillance his house, not broke in, but surveillance his house caught in there. And, you know, they found him and all this great investigation. He got literally caught going to a beard and mustache, mustache championship, which is kind of funny. <laughs> so that's it for today's video. I'm um, really excited about just, you know, keep going, keep going forward and, and having some fun this weekend. I hope you're going to have some fun this weekend. Uh, do some great things. So, like I said, that's it for the, today's video. Don't forget, I'm just going to move over to the side here. Software is hackable. Being connected is vulnerable. I'll see you next video.